This is going to be Kanye West, an antichrist or a Christian. And I've had a lot of people ask me recently what I think about Kanye West. They ask me if I believe, did he really get saved or is he just deceiving people? And you can't help it. The first verse that comes to mind for me was 2 Timothy 3.13, which says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Your first thought that you can't help but have is that this is just another money-making scheme. But this has opened a lot of doors for me to talk to these people about the Bible. Because, you know, many people are just consumed with music and movies and TV shows and video games. And this world is about entertainment. It seems a lot of people only think about God if something like the Kanye West situation happens. You have people who say that he's a false convert who is helping bring in the Antichrist, being a forerunner for the Antichrist. You have people who believe he is like Saul, who is... Someone you at least expect to become a Christian, yet they get saved. Just like Paul, before he was saved, you know, he did a lot of bad things, persecuted Christians. So could Kanye West really be a born-again Christian? Sure, he could really be saved. If Kanye came to Jesus Christ as a guilty sinner and believed the gospel, the gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, shed his blood, was buried, rose again the third day. If he came to the Lord as a guilty sinner and trusted in that to save him, if he trusted in the Lord to save him, then the Lord saved him. John 6, 37 says, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. I believe, sure, he could really have gotten saved, but the real question is, should Kanye West be followed? Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11.1, 1, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. A Christian doesn't necessarily always follow Christ. And if a Christian doesn't follow Christ, then you shouldn't follow him. And many times someone may seem to follow Christ, but they're really not following Christ at all. The Bible talks about another Jesus, a false Christ. 2 Corinthians 11, 4 says, For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, you know, as Paul talks about there, the Lord Jesus Christ himself mentioned false Christs. Uh, I don't, want to say he didn't truly get saved. I don't want to say Kanye West didn't truly get born again because it's easy to be saved. Living like a Christian is what's hard. But salvation is simple. 2 Corinthians 11, 3 says, But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. There is simplicity in the gospel. It's easy to believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross, shed his blood for your sins, was buried and resurrected. It is easy to trust in that to be your payment for sin and be saved. Acts 16.31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever, even Kanye West, calleth upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. 2 Peter 3, 9, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So God wants Kanye West to be saved. He has no pleasure in the death of the wicked. So Kanye could have come to a point where he realized he was a guilty sinner and believed the gospel. Sure, he could have. Now, if he did get saved, and if he is a born-again Christian, does this mean he should already be acting and having the same conduct that your pastor has and an aged Christian at your church has? 
Probably not. The Bible talks about spiritual babies. 1 Corinthians 3, 1 says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. 1 Peter 2, 2, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Kanye West, if he truly got saved, is just as saved as me and you, but he is a babe in Christ. He is a new Christian. And here's the thing. A baby Christian should not be followed as a spiritual leader. And you see people looking to Kanye as some type of spiritual pattern to follow. Is he truly saved? That's beyond my eyes. That's beyond what my eyes can see because I can only see the flesh. Maybe he really did get saved. If he is truly saved, should he be followed? The answer is no. Uh, many people are looking to Kanye as some type of pastor. Even they're having Sunday services with him, you know, the main guy of that. But one of the qualifications for being a pastor in First Timothy 3 is not a novice. First Timothy 3, 6 says, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. So a novice is like a beginner, a rookie, a, a babe in Christ. Notice it says, not a novice, lest being lifted up in pride. And it's obvious Kanye has a pride problem. He is a rapper. Rappers rap about self-glorification. That is basically what rap music is, giving glory to self. Even on his Jesus is King album, he gives glory to himself in some places. 1 Corinthians 3.21 says, Therefore let no man glory in men. The glory should go to God for all that you do. Uh, all the good things that you do, glory should go to God, not you. Uh, it goes to God for your salvation. We are worthy of no glory. But does this mean he isn't saved because he has a pride problem? Of course not. Paul just showed us in 1 Timothy 3.6 that it's possible for a novice, uh, which would be a new Christian, to have a pride problem. And when Paul talks to the Corinthians, he says they are puffed up. But as we have said, Kanye is a babe in Christ. Imagine if back when you first got saved, people examined every part of your life immediately after conversion, even your secret sins. They could easily say, well, he's still committing such and such sin, or he's still doing this and that, so he can't really be saved. Imagine if they did that. Uh, I can go ahead and tell you now, if they examined my life, they probably would say I wasn't saved. But that would be wrong of them because they're making it about what you're doing to be whether or not you're saved instead of what Jesus Christ already did on the cross. When you place your faith on Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross to, to be your payment for sin, your sins are no longer applied to your record. Romans 4, eight says, Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Once I got saved, God took away my sin. He no longer applies it to my record. And he gave me the righteousness of Jesus Christ and put that on my record. And that's why God sees me as saved. He sees me as righteous. And I'm not going to examine Kanye's life or someone else's life who claims to be saved. I'm not going to examine their life to determine if they truly got saved. But I'll examine what I see to determine if this is someone I should follow or someone I should have no fellowship with at all. Because, you know, the Bible talks about Christians, certain Christians that you shouldn't fellowship with. And since Kanye titles his album Jesus is King and has all of these Christian-looking song titles, it doesn't necessarily mean I should listen to the music. It doesn't necessarily mean the music is Christian. Should a Christian listen to Kanye's new album? I would say no way. It is worldly. It's still rap music. It still gives glorification to self. And 1 John 2.15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the lover of the Father is not in him. Listening to Kanye's new CD could lead you down the path of worldliness or keep you on that path. That's what the 
music like this does. It sounds so much like secular music that it's like you don't have to to let go of what you loved before you were saved. And the things that you loved before you were saved, if they were sinful things, you need to let them go. Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is worldly music made by a new Christian who has absolutely no real spiritual guidance or influence. His pastor isn't what you would call a Bible believer. And imagine trying to live a Christian life when you're married to Kim Kardashian. He is even worse shaped than Ahab in that respect. So, I mean, I'm having a little sympathy here. I mean, he's in some... He's come out of a life of deep sin and still involved in that Hollywood lifestyle a little bit. If he is saved, he needs time to grow and needs to realize he needs separation from the wicked people and from this wicked world and from that wicked industry that he's in. 2 Corinthians 6.17 says, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate. The Bible talks about Christian separation. As a Christian, I, I would steer clear of his music and his teachings. Even if he is saved, he can still be deceived and then also deceive others. And many people have the idea that a Christian can't be deceived or deceive others. That's not true according to the Bible. In Galatians 5.20, heresies are listed as one of the works of the flesh. A Christian is in danger of committing any of the works of the flesh if he doesn't consistently yield himself to the Holy Spirit. So as Kanye... If Kanye's lifestyle was all I had to determine his salvation, then obviously he wouldn't be saved because what he is doing with his music and things like that is not godly. But he has a testimony that he has believed on Jesus Christ, so the Lord knows his heart, not me. And many are looking at his old albums and his old lifestyle to discredit the fact that he truly got saved, which makes absolutely zero sense. Obviously, Kanye's old stuff is beyond blasphemous. He made such mention, much mention of Jesus Christ even on his old CDs, but it has it was blasphemy, uh, the things that he did, calling himself Jesus and calling himself God. He had that song called I Am a God, and that's wicked and blasphemy. Well, what does that have to do with anything regarding to him being saved? Your past sins can't stop you from getting saved, just like the sins he commits now couldn't make him unsaved. What if someone looked at your life before you were saved and judged your salvation on your life before salvation? That, don't, that doesn't make any sense. For example, the Apostle Paul was a bad guy before salvation. Look what he says in 1 Timothy 1, 12 through 13. It says, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. So if, if my salvation was determined on my past life or on my life after salvation, then I wouldn't be saved and neither would you. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, he says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now look what he says, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Notice it said, Such were some of you, but ye are washed. All the sins you committed have been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, and God isn't holding them against you any longer. That is, if you're saved. If you're not saved and you died right now, you would wake up in hell burning for all eternity because you didn't get your sins washed in the blood. You didn't believe the gospel. But you're, the sins that you did in your life are not going to keep you from getting saved. The, uh, certain sins don't make you uneligible to be saved. 
But before the Apostle Paul was saved, he said he persecuted the church of God and wasted it. The Bible talks about how he compelled men to blaspheme, yet the Lord still saved him. He called himself a blasphemer before he was saved. So if he can get saved, I think anybody can. And the problem comes from people looking at your works. But it's not about what I'm doing or what I've done that saved me or that keeps me saved. It's about what Jesus did on the cross and me putting my faith and trust in that to be saved. What you did before salvation and what you're doing after salvation is a separate issue completely and has nothing to do with whether you're saved or not. So is Kanye an antichrist or a Christian? Maybe he is truly a born-again Christian. But as of the date of this recording, he acts like a lost man in practice. Uh, the stuff he's still doing is does not show that he's a, a Christian. He doesn't act like he's a saved man. Maybe religious at best, very religious, but he's always been very religious. He may mention Jesus Christ, but throughout his rap career, he's always mentioned Jesus Christ. I think maybe his first CD... He had the song, Jesus Walks, where he says the F word, I think several times in the song, and has Jesus looking like a hippie in the video. And he's still singing that song at his little, what he calls Sunday services. That's not Christian at all. That's more of a, a mockery. And I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's just such a babe in Christ and just has no spiritual sense because he just has no real spiritual influence or guidance but that's just uh, horrible he's living horribly so the fact that he now made a cd that seems to be giving praise to jesus christ doesn't really say much is kanye west really saved god knows not me should we listen to kanye west cds and look to him as some type of spiritual leader and great christian i don't believe so I don't know his heart or sincerity, but my gut feeling, which may or may not be right, is that he's just going to use the name of Jesus Christ to make money as he has done in the past, and he's doing that right now. I mean, he's making a lot of money off of this new new thing he's doing, calling himself a Christian. Second Peter 2 Peter 2.3 says, And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and the damnation slumbereth not. So Kanye is going to make a lot of money, and already has off of his new CD, and he used, used the Lord's name to do it. He's making merchandise of people. Uh, you can say what you want, but he's, he's making a lot of money off of all this. Following Kanye West as some type of spiritual mentor, or looking, at, looking to him for for some answers on things is not the way to go. Or, or if you think this music he's got is going to help you spiritually, that's like taking directions from a newborn baby. Because that's what he is. If he's saved, he's a babe in Christ. If Kanye is truly saved, then don't expect him to be some great Christian overnight. But also don't take it too far the other way and start listening to his music and to any of his teachings and trying to get some spiritual insight from his Sunday services that he's having. And the things, I'm not, I've not really looked into the, his teachings that he has now, but they could probably going to be unbiblical. I mean, he's not going to be a big Bible believer and things like that. So you just need to be... Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil has a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. He comes as an angel of light. And that could be what this is. Satan coming as an angel of light and deceiving people who, you know, people are easy to, easily deceived into thinking something is Christian when it's not Christian. But if you're not saved... As I said, you need to believe the gospel. And that's how Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, shed his blood, was buried, and rose again the third day. If you put your trust on that to be your payment for sin, then you can be saved and have eternal life.